Uh, Sarah, I know you had something. You want to open us up? Sure. Well, I was just asking Brandon, are you are you going to run for mayor? If you're not running for mayor, are you guys going to support Brandon running for mayor? Look, um, I talked a lot today about the democracy that we have at the Chicago Teachers Union. It is second to none. It is what elected me. I believe in it. Um, I get one vote in our House of Delegates. One. Um, now, I know how I'll cast my vote when I have an opportunity. But what I will say is that I'm not getting in front of my members. I trust my members to know what they need in leadership in the city. I trust my members to know who they would like to partner with. And I trust my members to go through um, a democratic process that will give them the type of partnership that they have sacrificed. Um, they deserve it. Stacey, it sounds like you have a lot of ideas about what young people in the city need. You talked a lot about the problems that face Chicago. Why aren't you running for mayor? Well, because I like my job. Um, I think that the Chicago Teachers Union has, um, <laughs> our members have created a space where we can lift our voices to provide balance to the city in the way in which it sees its public employees, um, in the way in which it centers the children that we parent and that we also teach in our school communities. We also believe in a type of unionism that invites the community in. I get to do the good stuff in Chicago. I get to be a full-time leader for justice and equity. And um, I don't know, I already think that's the best job in the world. I also though, but let me say this, what Chicago does need, because I have the best job in the world. So the second job that you know someone can probably get is one where um, they're not afraid of hard work and that they know how to organize people to a vision and an idea about more and uh, for the many. That it isn't reductive or marginal, um, but that it speaks to the needs of the people. Like I keep saying all the time, when you become a Chicago Public Schools employee, a worker, a member of our union, you get a zip code in this city. You become invested in this city. You're, you send your children to the public schools. You are a neighbor. You get to say something about what this feels like. My job is to help our members amplify their concerns in that way. And like any other democracy in this city, well, <laughs> not like any other, but like our democracy, um, they value the opportunity to debate. I'll never get in front of them, and I will absolutely weigh in on the debate because I get to, right? That's our, that's our culture. Why should the current mayor be afraid of a challenge from the CTU back candidate? Whoever that ends up being. Um, I don't know if I, I, I don't even know if I'm thinking about it like that. Um, I'm thinking about it kind of like the way I said it up there. I'm thinking about what we need. We need a partnership. We've, we have been, we've experienced some of the most traumatic events that our generation hopefully will ever encounter. Body bags of people, um, mass graves for COVID, right? Um, we've experienced a complete shutdown of our society as we understand it, and now we're dealing with the impacts of that trauma. Juxtaposed to that, we have a gun violence problem, not just in this country, not just in this county, not just in the city, but all over this country we have that issue. And then we have an issue treating people who are not just white and male a particular way. Right? With their agency. Women can't even make medical decisions for their bodies legally in a lot of places. Um, that is not a challenge to her, that's a challenge to the voters. It's a challenge to the voters to get what they need out of 2023. It's a challenge to voters to get what they need out of 2022, because that's first, right? We are actually in control of this. So why would I want to be one person when I can be with 30,000 of them? pushing in coalition with the rest of Chicago. Look, Chicago knows what it needs. It needs a partner, it needs an organizer, it needs someone who's in love with humanity. We don't have that right now. And the Chicago Teachers Union is going to work, again, in the other word, with, with others to get what we need. 